Hi Bruce from Safari and uh, we're nearly there on our lifestyle kit and uh, let's give viewers a bit of an update on where we're at. This is completely built. At the end of the video I'm going to give you the weight and put it into the text. Uh, you can see now we've got our black bridge display in this and that goes all the way to the back. And uh, we've got the starter battery, we've got the house battery that's going to be on that side. And these are the buttons. If you listen carefully, you can hear the relay going. So we're going to have our light switches, water pump, um, all in here in the front of the drawer. Uh, this side here is going to have the power. And so our uh, power inlet, for example, is going to be down the bottom there. Um, our double... Um, GPO with the USBs and then we've got our 15 amp unit. Um, this slide here that comes out, and I'm just going to go to a wide angle here, uh, under the fridge we'll have a stainless steel cover over the top and that's the uh, cutting board and uh, prep area. Um, but these slides will be 200 longer so this will actually come back a bit further. So it keeps it away from the fridge, quite easy to open up the fridge then. Um, and it'll go on to top of the slide, standard Bushman 85 litre. We include the Bluetooth sensor in there so that uh, it's got 10 day history in the chip itself. Um, and then on this side here, let's have a look at the induction. That just slides out and there's the Safari double induction. It will also come out another uh, 200 past here, but this is getting it away from the uh, vehicle itself and directly under the lights that we add in up here that you've seen in previous videos. Then we've got uh, three drawers here. Uh, let's have a look at their depth. So that's 650 long and uh, quite high. So uh, uh, we can get everything in there. And then on this side round here um, is where all the recovery gear goes. So by taking this out, uh, the AIB dual compressor goes into this pocket here. This is all completely empty in here, so you can load this up with recovery gear, other bits and pieces in there. Uh, camp tables on the top, we've got the tie-down straps here. So your chairs and an overall table uh, comfortably sit on the top of this. Lash it down, you can add another tie-down on this side over here, for example. Um, and this side here is all 240, you don't get access into that. Let's go around and have a look at the other side now. Now the big plus on this kit is we've got this 40 litre water tank in here. That's our hot water system. It will actually be bolted up a bit higher than that. Then the entire power pack of which there are three choices. So we've got 270 amp hours, 405 or 600 amp hours and two, three or 5,000 watt inverter all go into that space there. Um, and uh, the RCBOs are all here for the uh, power distribution so that we've got all that set up here. Um, it means that uh, you just fold these rear seats forward, no other modification to the vehicle. The alternator cable comes up on that side up there and feeds up and goes through the grommet just underneath the seat belt over there, comes up into that. And uh, I've got to say, that's gonna be quite a nice setup. There'll be an aluminium piece that goes across the bottom here that holds the batteries in and uh, covers this up as well. There is a little bit of storage in here. So the, if this is a shower, then the towels could be stacked up here quite easily. Let's go around and have one more look now. The screen on the front of the drawers here is part of our Black Bridge series. You do get an overview. Now, in this case here, uh, we don't have everything in place yet, but uh, you get the overview. Uh, this is the battery in the back of the case. Uh, so this can be a 12 volt, can be 48 volt, doesn't matter. Uh, if we've got any current flowing, we'll measure it there, we'll get the time to go. It'll give us the battery state of charge. Um, that's the starter battery in the car that we have on here. And that's the water tank that we have in the back. We've got our own tank centre that goes in there. Uh, that's the temperature inside the car. Uh, it could also be the fridge temp sensor as well, so there's a choice there. Uh, but we've got the Bluetooth for the uh, for the fridge. Uh, we've got here the pitch and roll, so that's uh, whether the vehicle's square or not, uh, the inclimiter, and then back to the beginning again. Then these are the switches, so you can see that you see a slight backlit around there, and um, if you listen carefully, you can hear it. Um, the uh, we laser engrave beautifully, laser engrave under here what each of these buttons mean. And uh, so you've got here a fridge, 
white at the back here, amber at the back here, um, uh, rock lights underneath, water pump. We have one spare. This is a master on off. If I press that, the whole thing goes off. Press it, the whole thing comes back on again. So that, uh, that will turn the fridge off, turn everything off in the whole unit. Um, and uh, the, this one here is for the inclement. I've got to configure it. So that's the black bridge. Now let's look inside the drawers here. There's no uh, screws in this case. Uh, we've actually got bolts going all the way through. So they come all the way through into the slide. And so everything here is bolted. There's not one screw in this case. And the front drawer fronts here are also bolted all the way through. And here's our side wings. This shows you the overall finish with the carpet. There's the backing uh, of the material. Look, it's just super light. That's like, you know, just a couple hundred grams, to be honest. And then we've got the carpet finish, high quality carpet finish on the top. So that's the overall summary of what we've got there. The door we can have turned from the left hand opening to the right hand opening, if you wish. Okay, let's look at weights. And what we did was we got the whole pack. You can see in the insert video there. Uh, weighted on quite precision scales and we've got all the drawers stack them all up with everything else and put them on the scales so the drawers the case and the induction 74.4 kilos uh, the bushman bear 22.2 .2. we've got the water tanks and the case electric so the classic pack 148.9 now that's about 80 kilos lighter than what we had before and if you compare to say the agm and the standard red arc pack it's probably about 180 kilos lighter than uh, that comparison kit now let's change gears and look overall at the Land Cruiser. And you can see in this chart here, when you remove the third row seats, you gain about 100 kilos, gives you a payload of 710. Add people, bull bar, bar uh, tools for recovery. We add that up. Then we add the classic kit here. We fill the fridge with 30 kilos, drawers 70 kilos, fill the water tank with 40 kilos and allow 100 kilos for a rooftop tent or a tow ball allowance if you're towing a camper trailer. Uh, and you've still got 30 kilos to spare there. Tight, I, I know, but then if you add the GBM upgrade, you can then tow a three and a half ton caravan and still have this pack in the back. I've got to say, how good's that?